Stephen, you know, again, I just got to say congratulations. It's a fantastic story, mate. And when uh, Paul Drake Harrington says he truly deserves uh, to be the winner and he's dominated this tour, I mean, that's massive praise. Well done, mate. No, thank you very much. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, just uh, kind of a lot of, lot of emotions in there, just kind of relief to, to get it done. And um, and to have, you know, play along Podrick for three days. And, I mean, he, he played amazing um, to, to do what he did because he had to win. He had no option, you know, to, to have a chance to win to win the Schwab Cup. So uh, just, just pleased to get it done yesterday. It was a bit stressful, but we, we got there. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm fascinated about your mindset. Um, was it a tournament that you focused on winning or when you only, or when I say only, I have to finish in the top five, but when you've got a target like that, does it change the way that you approach the tournament? Yeah, a little bit because it's kind of two tournaments won. Um, and it, that's kind of what it become, especially on the back nine. Um, it was, you know, I, I, I got to the point where I couldn't win the golf tournament and now it's like it's all about winning the Schwab Cup. So, Earlier in the week, it was different. I was just trying to have win both, you know, events. Um, trying, you know, I was I was leading halfway through and good chance to win the golf tournament. So, um, you know, a little bit stressful over the weekend, but um, yeah, it, it's it's it, it was different to to every event I've played this year. So, um, in that in that respect, yeah, it was it was quite uh, it was quite different. And and as I said, just a, a little bit stressful at times. Yeah. Different kind of pressure, though, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, because the, the thing is, you know, it's been a it's a season long race, and and I've held it for so long with a bit of a bullseye on my back. So, you know, to have it that come so far, and then you know the possibility of, of losing it that that last week would have been would have been tough. But uh, no, just just pleased the way I I finished. You know, I hang in there the back nine and made a couple of late birdies. So. Really, really pleased to get it done. Stephen, see, I can hear the relief in your voice, and that's amazing. That's the overwhelming emotion, I bet, straight away, is that, you know, because you could lose it. It's in the palm of your hands, and what, say, you lose it, there's so much disappointment, you win it. Is, is it, is it relief before everything else? Um, yeah, a little bit. You know, I, I think, um, I've, I've looked at it today, and I go, well, you know, I don't think there would have been disappointment. I don't think that was part of it. It's just... Um, I think having that that last event and knowing that, um, you know, it could go either way, and and you know having it for so long, um, it, when it's done, you know, there is there is a lot of relief there because uh, it's you know you've just been slogging away, grinding it out for the for the year. I'm so pleased with the way I played, and um, and I'm actually really pleased the way I play over the weekend, just under the circumstances when. You know, things changed and I couldn't actually win the golf tournament but still had, you know, the opportunity to, to either win or lose the Schwab Cup. So that, that's probably what I'm most, most proud of, yeah. And when Harrington says that and you look down the list, you've got Montgomery, you've got Langer, I, I mean, you know, the other, other guys that have won major championships, not on the central, won the, won the major championships. These guys know how to close as well. We are very aware of that, that, you know, when it comes down to it, they've done things at a level that every golfer wants to do. Mm. For sure, uh, you know I think um, a, a couple of things. You know the the golf course we were playing. There are a lot of birdies out there. Um, anybody could have come through, and or, you know, I mean we're talking three or four guys could have come through at the top there and and shot a low number and kind of pushed me out. Which you know that, that's out of my control. You know I only can control what what I can do. And uh, you know that that last day, especially the weekend, just just go out and try and you know shoot as low as I can in the circumstances. You know, if, if if I don't win the golf tournament, then I've got to make sure I'm I'm in that top five, and and that meant still keeping the pedal to the metal and and making birdies. So yeah, yeah, you look at all those names, you think, well, you know, these guys can can still shoot a number and and push me out. So you know, they're, they're playing for pride as well and and trying to have a good tournament. So yeah, there was a, there was a lot at stake, and and I knew. A lot of guys pushing me, pushing me hard. So that was probably a good thing, to be honest. Stephen Elka with us, who is the senior. PGA Championship Tour champion, the Charles Schwab Cup. Now, I've just been, I mean, you know, here am I, I think I know just about everything about sport. I was thinking, who the hell is Charles Schwab? I look him up, he's he's a finance company. Is there a guy called Charles Schwab? Is there or not? I, I was hoping that he was a famous golfer who won heaps of majors. 
No, no, no. Chuck Schwab, very successful man. I actually played with him in the pro am on Wednesday. Brilliant. And what a gentleman. He's eighty. He's eighty five now, and uh, uh, very, very wealthy man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, amazing guy. Loves his golf, and and pretty damn good for for an eighty five year old. Still getting around. Still walking the golf course. So yeah, um, amazing company. Amazing supporter of of golf here in the US. You know, both of the PGA and the uh, tour and the, and the Champions Tour as well. So. Yeah, amazing man and, and great supporter of golf. My, it might be a question that it's really hard to answer, but winning the senior PGA Championship, you know, winning a senior major and then winning this. I mean, can you compare the two? Is there one that you would have above the other? It's a silly question, I know, because you've got both. Yeah, um, no, certainly um, both both is good. Um, hard to compare because, you know, if you look at just one tournament, we've only got, you know, five majors, so you've only got five chances there. Um you know, you've only got, I guess you've only got one chance to win the Schwab Cup. Um, so, and, and it's a year-long race, so there's a lot there's a lot involved. But um, to, to have both, I'm not going to, you know, choose one, but I think to have both is, is pretty amazing. And, and certainly my first full year on, on tour, it, it kind of uh, exceeded my expectations. 17 top 10 finishes, you know this, one four times. Um, um, five other times you've been uh, runner-up in these tournaments. So the word is consistency, isn't it? You've had a vein of form and you've managed to maintain it and be completely consistent. That must be so pleasing. Yeah, no, that is that's the thing I'm most proud of this year, I think, uh, just having that consistency. And, and if I didn't have such a good tournament one week, I I seem to come back. I'd, I'd either have a week off or if I come back that next week, I'd... I'd have a top 10 again and I was kind of back into the swing of it. So, you know, I, I didn't really have a, a stretch of golf where um, I was kind of struggling with my game. I just, um, you know, it, it's kind of what I found tough during the year was to, you know, almost every second week be in the hunt to win a, to win a golf tournament or right there. And that, you know, it's quite taxing. So you, you have, you know, two, three, four of those, you know, in a row and it's, um, it kind of wears you down. So, yeah, you know, I, I spent my, my time off the golf course while just just getting some rest and preparing, and um, and I think that's why my consistency was there. I just had that uh, good preparation. I hope it's not an indecent question, mate. But I mean, like winning the money—it's a hell of a lot of money. It's more money than most people probably make in their lifetimes, and I know that it means a lot to you because it sets up a financial future, and you've got a family and all of that. And we talked last time about putting the kids through college and all of that stuff. So, I mean, it can't be ignored, can it? It's not the be all and end all. I know the winning is—you know—you probably the victory is more, you know, exalting, more euphoric, all of that kind of stuff. But the money's bloody nice, isn't it? Mm. Oh, well, it is. There's, there's no doubt. And, uh, you know, compared to what I've been playing for on the Corn Ferry and, and no disrespect to that tour, you know, it's a development tour. So, um, you know, you kind of look back over the last, you know, 25, 30 years and it's, I guess it's just the payoff for the, the slog you've been doing. And, you know, it's not easy to get into the um, Champions Tour. So, you know, once once you get in, if you play well, well, the, the re- rewards are there for sure. So, um, I'm just very, very pleased that um, I gave myself that opportunity and and was able to to actually play play well enough to you know get some rewards from from all that all that work. I bet the phone's ringing off the hook, but has there been a call from Live Golf at all saying, "Hey, you're the senior tour champ now, pal. We wouldn't <laughs> mind getting hold of you." No, <laughs> no, I, I, I have not. I have not. And uh, and just to let everybody know, no, I won't be going that route. So um, it's. Uh, yeah, it's something I'm not not really interested in. So, okay. Well, at 51 years old, there's you know, I mean, does this provide even you know more of a reason? I mean, you you can be relaxed, you're enjoying your golf, you're playing so well. So obviously, you're going to keep going, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you know, as long as I can, um, and as long as the the body stays fit, and uh, I keep the enthusiasm uh, to, to play. You know, the, the the want is still there. So that's the biggest thing. Um, and and you know, I kind of feel like I've never lost that. People have asked me, you know, this, this last year, you know, was there a time you, you want to give up or, you know, what happened during this period and, what, you know, why did you keep going? But I, I guess it's always just been there. That's just the perseverance. And, um, and, and again, this is another thing I'm really proud of, just to, you know, to, to keep persevering and, and keep going. So it's always been in there somewhere. It's just uh, it's just been a little bit late to come out, that's all. <laughs> and Stephen, what does it feel like when Ryan's playing so well, when Lydia's winning as well, when you get Daniel Hillier, who's now uh, qualified for the DP? All of this success is, 
it's great for golf. It's great for New Zealand golf. And so to be, a, does it mean more to you when when you see your other mates and the other golfers out there overachieving as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and especially the younger ones. It's it's getting harder and harder to uh, break through and get into tours. You know, the competition's amazing. Uh, there's there's less spots available than when I was playing when I was younger. So you know, it's. Um, it's 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 just difficult to break through. I think I think once you get in and you get comfortable, you know, as I say, the rewards are, are there to be taken. So, um, you know, that there's a lot more access to to getting uh, better quickly, but at the same time, you've got a lot more competition, a lot more depth. Even on the Champions Tour, there's a lot more depth. You see guys, you know, um, shooting lower scores, um, and you know, a lot of guys. Shooting the same scores, a lot of guys on the on the same scores all the way through the field. So that just shows you that everybody's getting a little bit closer and and trying to trying to win even more. So, but but good luck to them because you know it's a it's it's a tough road, but it's it's worth it in the end for sure. Well, you know, again, congratulations, and you know, as mean as it is, we kind of feel like we know you a little bit after being in touch with you after the uh, winning the PGA Seniors Championship, and then watching your progress through this and that. So I know you're really busy. We're really grateful for the fact that once again you extend us some time, mate. Love it. Lovely to hear from you, and also brilliant what you've just done. No problem. I appreciate it, and thanks for having us on.